The pipe bomb axleback for the 2018 and newer non-active GT will be the most affordable of its kind in the category featuring a full stainless build and black tips and will provide you with a major bump in volume compared to the factory cans you will be replacing. Now the pipe bomb will pack 409 grade stainless for the three inch mandrel bent tubing along with a small amount of 304 grade stainless for the quad four inch black tips and can be had for right around that $430 price point. Installation will require the smallest bit of cutting as is the case with every S550. So expect a soft two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter here and a couple of hours to complete from start to finish. But if you hang till the end of the video, we'll show you how it's done. But since this is an exhaust video after all, and since you guys all wanna hear loud noises, let's talk about where the pipe bomb will stack up on our patented Wake the Neighbors scale. And if you guessed all of the neighbors, well, you're partially correct. Going to our one to five or one to Wake the neighbor scale, I have the pipe bomb coming in at a healthy four out of five, but you have to keep in mind, this is still with that factory resonator in place. Ditch that thing in favor of an aftermarket X or H pipe or maybe some long tubes and expect to peg that scale rather easily. Now inside the car, yeah, you pick up a little bit of noise, but because that factory resonator still is in place, drone's gonna be minimal at best. But with the sound covered, what do you say we talk about the design of the pipe bomb in? As you can see, it's a rather simple one, right? Eliminate that factory muffler and put a straight piece of pipe in its place. Now, the older pipe bomb systems for like the S197, they give you a unique resonated tip, but the newer S550 systems, you're just getting a piece of pipe in place here along with those four black tips. As far as your materials here, guys, well, again, combination of 409 grade stainless steel for I'd say 90% of this system, including your three inch mandrel bent tubing and the small amount of 304 grade stainless can be found with those black tips underneath that powder coat and featuring that slash cut design. Just a quick heads up here, guys, if you want more of that traditional polish look instead, you can grab the same exact system with polished tips. A little bit cheaper, actually, you can find it here on the site. But as promised, we wanna show you what it takes to get the pipe bomb in place. So without further ado, here's my buddy Andrew with that quick walkthrough along with a quick tool breakdown. Tools required for this job, a sawzall with a nice metal blade on it, safety glasses, a tape measure to measure your cuts, rubber mallet, an extension with a deep 15 and a deep 13. That is if you're removing your exhaust off the vehicle to cut it off the vehicle. A 15 short with the universal swivel is for your tips. 3 8 drive, white lithium grease. Optional is the electric and air impact. Now for this exhaust install, you will not need to remove your whole exhaust system, but you will need to make a couple of cuts. You will notice that we are going to change out this exhaust because we need to keep this stock. So, now Pipes has some awesome directions and they tell you to cut right after that first bend after the muffler, so it's gonna be right around here. And on the passenger side, it's the same deal, right after that first bend, so right around here. Now I'm gonna swap out to a already pre-cut exhaust and we're gonna show you a video of how to make those cuts. First thing we're gonna do here is make a mark on our cat back. That's gonna show us where we need to cut so we can remove the factory axle backs. So what we wanna do is find our muffler, and come down right after the bend. As soon as the bend stops and you have a section of straight pipe, that's where we want to cut. I'm going to go ahead and make a mark here. And we'll do the same thing on this side. You want to find your bend. Right after the bend, you're going to have a straight piece of pipe. And we'll make our cut line right here. We're now ready to cut our factory axle backs out of here. I got a metal cutting blade on my Sawzall. So let's go ahead and get this guy cut. 
So I'm about halfway through the pipe here. I did throw a pole jack up in place here, so when I go all the way through, this muffler doesn't come down and hit me on my head. All right, we've got our axle back cut now. I'm gonna slide the stock muffler out of place. I'm gonna spray the upper hanger with a little bit of WD-40. Should be able to just slide this right on out of our hanger. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is attach our tip to our tailpipe section there. We're gonna put our clamp on first. Make sure your clamp is on your tip correctly, just like that. Now, I'm not gonna tighten this down just yet. I may give it a few. What I'm gonna do is put this into our hanger up here. Then I'm going to attach our tailpipe section here. As you can see, I already put our clamp over our exhaust system. Now I'm going to put these two pipes together. And as you see, I didn't tighten that yet so we can get our adjustment. And we can get our tips on there and tighten everything up. Now let me tighten up this in a spot that I like. That should be good right about there. I'm putting a little bit of pressure on here while I do this. You want to make sure that clamp is nice and tight. You don't want any exhaust leaks. So we are going to have some adjustments still, but we're going to get our tips on there and then tighten that down for our final adjustment. As you can see, I already put these two together. I'm just going to tighten up this clamp here. put this tip through our hanger. And I did spray some white lithium grease in there to make this a lot easier. Now let's attach our tailpipe section. Put our clamp over those two. Get that adjustment that we want. And tighten up that clamp. Again, we have a lot of adjustments still. So let's get our tips in and then tighten those up and then tighten these clamps up last. All right, so let's install these black tips. We're gonna start with this inside one because you can see where our bolt is to tighten that clamp. We are gonna slide it all the way back until it bottoms out and make sure that logo, that pipe's logo is parallel with the floor. Next, I'm going to take a 15 millimeter short socket and a swivel on an extension and tighten up this Next one on, same deal, bottom it out, because this one's supposed to sit a little bit further in than the inside tip. This is why we left it a little loose, so we can gain some clearance to tighten that clamp. All right, then we can push that back, tighten up that clamp and get our final adjustment. Let's get the other tips on now. Are right, we gonna get our tips on the driver's side now? All right, what we're gonna do now is get our final adjustment for our tips, Y pipe and tailpipe section here. Looks like I need to come up just a little bit to match that side and to look nice and factory. So I'm gonna just twist it up a little bit here. Now tighten that clamp. I'm just gonna hit this one more time, make sure that doesn't move.
right, that's going to wrap up the install of the Pipes Pipe Bomb Axle Back Kit for this Mustang. And for all things Mustang, keep it here at AmericanMuscle.com.